So hi there, this is day 20 in the Inktober drawing challenge and today I'm going to draw a gory zombie daggerhead <laughs> which is a bit of a mouthful but um, something that I, uh, I've drawn previously again but I want to do something different with this one make it a properly um, quite gory looking zombie head with a dagger right through it so just start sketching just using these uh, new pencils I got a pack of 30 uh, from pound shop they'll last me a bit so just uh, use these I, I normally use uh, mechanical pencils but uh, I can use any pencils really let's try and get this head shape let's get that ear there And I want uh, maybe the knife just to maybe like it's going behind the sort of eyebrow or something and it's sort of making this eye bulge out slightly that's the main detail I want so the dagger there and there's blood and other stuff but I'll come back to that we'll draw the other eye in and draw the nose Of hair, and teeth, maybe a bit of a messed up face as well, particularly like this section here. A huge chunk of skin or something that's ripped off. So there's a zombie's face. Some more hair. The sketching. So you can see the full head there. It looks rather sketchy. And that's what I really wanted to do with this drawing. With a collar for the shirt, just add a bit of extra detail there. And maybe the stagger maybe comes out the, the bottom jaw there. Fun. Some more bits of hair, maybe hair just wrapping around the blade as well. And I think the handle just goes off the sort of page. want it to look a bit bulging so it's like bulging out the head or the eye socket sort of that's 
start to win this soon, I think. Uh, maybe. Tooth up there, and then a couple of teeth just broken there. Big cap there. A few missing teeth usually help make a, a good zombie face. So, I'm going to start to ink this now and zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit closer. Hopefully I'm going to invest in a, a new camera soon, so I'll be able to hopefully zoom in while I'm filming. So. so I've zoomed in slightly so you can see a bit closer the detail, the sketchy detail that I've sketched in. So I've got a sharpie marker but I want to just try and uh, whack out some thick lines. I won't be inking this entirely with a sharpie marker. Just want to get some basic thick lines drawn in. Sometimes I find with thick and thin lines it creates a really good contrasting sort of illustration, a varied illustration where it looks once I start adding other ink pens you know, I've got it at the side uh, other different ones and things like that yeah, the drawing seems to come together more underneath that eye just to hopefully make it look like it's bulging Maybe a thicker line there because the like I said before the knife behind it is like pressing the eye out so little details So I'm going to start using some thinner ink pens now. Use this one, Unipin 08. Still keeping the lines real sketchy. I think for this drawing I'll add there quite a bit of blood and stuff. Colour some in and that real quick, like so I'm not doing it. You know, this series is based on quick drawings, and I've already selected a few which uh, I'm going to redraw. Um, but I'll tell you that in the vlogs, which ones I'm going to redraw. Um, yeah, some some are better than others actually. And that was to be expected. But I think this one's going to be a good one. A nice one that I'll enjoy adding more to when this video is finished as well. So I've been doing that to some of the other drawings as well. Just trying to improve them a bit. Because I'm going to be putting them into some kind of uh, little book or PDF or something. And yeah, I don't know do something with him <laughs> didn't want to do loads of wrinkles under that eye because I thought it'd be bulging out so it would cover some of them so maybe just do some of them looking like they're covered 
Yeah, it looks sort of okay. And all this is maybe some mangled looking flesh. Some of these teeth are absolutely cracked and broken. blade sort of to finish there and there's lots of blood splattered everywhere on that as well and the handle just let that go off the page like I said and other stuff more hairs got like a copic marker I'm just gonna sketch a lot of the blood real quick got no time just to be um, precise with it so yeah we're gonna get some more copic markers Definitely on the Christmas list as well for, you know, Copic markers and refills that I need. Yeah, lots of all, all this is all a mess as well and most of that end of that knife is covered with blood.
Yeah. I like that. Still probably add some kind of not shadowing, but just make their heads sort of stand out a bit. Pretty much like I did that, you know, that uh, mummy corpse yesterday. Just a bit of shadow around it helps. Helps bring the face out a little bit more. A bit of shadow on this side as well. So in the future you'll probably see me uh, painting a lot of the larger areas there that need inking, you know, black with paint really, so just to save on these markers really, um, you know, try and budget a bit and just sort of save on buying more of these markers, get large tubes of these black paint for a pound. And they'll last quite a bit to do like if I was going to do like the full background or something like that <laughs> So I just want to add some red splatter or some red acrylic paint there little makeup brush maybe do a lot of splatter around all the blood that's already there oh there's a big one there get rid of that there saved it <laughs> Lots of splatter, quite a gory looking zombie head. I'll do for that. I'll get some black, do a bit of black splatter. Normally I'd let this dry, but I just want to get on with finishing this. Let's rinse that. Make up brush out a bit. Get most of the red out. And just add more black around. Let me spread a bit more out. I think I can use this uh, splatter technique forever. It's just uh, such a good technique. I can go mad with it. I'll do for that. So I'll just wait till this dries and then I'll come and just add a few more details and then we're done. So I just want to do a few minor details and I'll call this finished. Let's add a bit of shadow under the eye there. So I think the, the splatter that I've added adds a bit of deeper red over the um, you know, copics that I just did there, so you know, 
could have maybe done more darker areas there or I don't know it's just it's just good to do these uh, quick sketches these eyebrows I wanted to do a bit more with the eyebrows detail there nice to keep it sketchy that's it for now not a bad sketch so yeah I left that exactly as it is really I could have added more to it but uh, sometimes less is more <laughs> you know particularly with these quick sketches so yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, tomorrow the 21st I'll be drawing a succubus so that should be quite interesting I don't know, I might do some quick sketches before, you know, beforehand and just see how that goes. Uh, yeah, but well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.